Hey everyone, in this short video, I'm going to cover three of the most common mistakes beginners make in React. All of these mistakes are based on mistakes I made when I started and mistakes I've seen others make. Mistake number one, calling a function instead of passing a function to event handlers. For example, if you have an on click event on some button component that needs to invoke some handle event function as such. If in the on click event, I call a function like I normally would call a function, this will not work. This is because if we call a function like this, JSX executes it right away upon render without any regard for the actual event. React re-renders components if the state changes. Because of this, if you are changing some state inside of your event handler like we are here, you are going to get an error that says infinite re-renders as you can see by this error here. There are two correct solutions to this problem. Solution one, pass in the function without the parentheses. So if I'm trying to call this handle event function, we can just remove the parentheses at the end here and we go ahead and save it. And now we no longer have an error and the button works just fine. Solution number two, keep the parentheses, but make it a function definition. So we could just write an arrow function like this, add parentheses and then the arrow and then add the parentheses back in here on the call. And then again, this works just fine as well because we are now doing a function definition instead of a function call, which would also work. Both of these are solutions to this problem. In summary, either invoke event handlers like this, or you can do it like this with no parentheses. But what you never want to do is never do it like this because that is what causes the error. Mistake number two, objects are not valid as React child. This mistake can be frustrating if you don't know what you're doing wrong. This mistake happens when you try to render an object or an array inside of JSX without doing it properly. A common case where this could happen is this. You have an object inside of your component. Then inside the return statement for the JSX in that component, you simply try to render that object. You are going to get this objects are not valid as a React child error. In JSX, React only accepts primitive types like strings and numbers or JSX tags or React components. It does not accept raw objects like this. To fix this, display some property of your object instead. Here I could put person.age instead of just person and I go ahead and save it and it would work just fine. If I wanted to render out the name and the page, so all the properties of the object, I would just need to specify them individually as such. I could say person.name is person.age like this, save it, and now it works as well. So we always want to specify properties of an object, not just the object itself, because that will cause an error. A common occurrence of this error typically comes from people trying to do map functions on an array of objects. If I have an array called people here, that just consists of three objects, person one, person two, and person three. The way to display all of these would just be to call the map function from JavaScript. The wrong way to display them using the map function would be to simply render them by using this person argument here, because person is equal to an object. And again, React cannot render raw objects. If I try and run this and look at our console, you can see we get the same error. To fix this, we can do the same thing as last time. We need to instead access properties of the object instead of the object itself. So if I wanted to display people's name and then their age, I could do something like person.name is person.age like this. Not formatted very good, but it actually works now because we're accessing properties of an object instead of just the object itself, which React does not allow. Mistake number three, too many re-renders or infinite re-rendering. This is sometimes shown by the error, too many re-renders, React limits the number of renders to prevent an infinite loop. So there's a couple of ways that this can happen. The first we already covered, and that's when you call a function in an event handler instead of passing it in. Another scenario this happens in is if we are calling a state setter function outside of a use effect or outside of an event handler, and we're just calling it in the middle of the component function. Remember that React re-renders a component when the state inside that component changes. Therefore, if you change state in the main part of the function itself, the component will re-render and then change state again, and then re-render, and then change state once again, and that will repeat infinitely. Do not do this. If you're going to change state, use a useEffect function or use some sort of event handler like onClick. The last scenario where you typically might see infinite re-renders will actually not be stopped by React and might just crash your program. If you have a useEffect function and you have a piece of state and the dependency array, and then you are changing that same piece of state in the use effect function, this is a problem. The use effect function runs whenever any items in its dependency array get changed. If you are then modifying that same state in the use effect, it will then trigger the use effect again, causing
causing an infinite loop. React will just give you a warning, and this can be very bad if this happens. The warning would look something like this. It would say maximum update depth exceeded. And as you can see, it is running infinitely because we've created an infinite loop. So if you're going to do something like this, make sure you are not changing something in the use effect function that you're putting in the dependency array and it will work just fine. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as it helps the algorithm tremendously to promote my videos. Take care and have a great rest of your day.